The Supreme Court on Tuesday granted bail to prime accused Pulsar Suni in the sensational actress assault case of 2017 in Kerala's Kochi. Suni had been in the Ernakulam sub jail for the past seven and a half years. In his bail plea, Suni had acknowledged the seriousness of the alleged crime but argued that the prolonged criminal trial process should not be his punishment. Suni's plea said that many witnesses remain to be examined and that the trial has been complicated by issues not because of him. He claimed that the involvement of a celebrity in the case has contributed to delays, resulting in his pre-trial detention lasting for more than seven years. The plea also mentioned the negative impact of his detention on his family, including the poor health of his elderly mother. A bench of justices Abhay S. Oka and Pankaj Mithal pronounced the order on Tuesday and ordered that Suni be produced before the trial court within a week for his release on bail. It was the second time that the apex court considered Suni's bail plea. The court also noted that the state could request the trial court to impose strict bail conditions before Suni is released. Senior Advocate K. Parameshwar and Advocates Sriram Parakat and Satish Mohanan appeared for Suni on Tuesday. Earlier, Suni was granted a one-day temporary bail in April 2023 to perform the last rites of his father. The Supreme Court also observed that an under-trial prisoner cannot be locked up in jail indefinitely just because the trial is getting prolonged. Suni first sought bail from the Kerala High Court in March 2022, but his plea was rejected. He then approached the Supreme Court, which declined to grant bail in July 2022, advising him to reapply if the trial was delayed. The High Court rejected Suni's second bail plea in March 2023 due to the severity of the charges. After challenging this verdict, the Supreme Court denied him bail again in April 2023. On June 3rd, the High Court dismissed his 10th bail plea, imposing Rs. 25,000 in costs. This was appealed and the apex court later stayed the cause. The actress was abducted and allegedly molested in a car for two hours by some persons who had forced their way into the vehicle on the night of February 17th, 2017 and later escaped in busy area. The entire act was filmed by those persons to blackmail the actress. There are 10 accused in the assault case including actor Dilip and police have arrested seven. Dilip was subsequently detained and jailed for nearly six months for his alleged links with the gang. In the affidavit filed in the Supreme Court earlier, the state government had alleged actor Dilip of trying to distort the evidence presented in the trial court by fabricating baseless lies in the actress assault case. The affidavit was submitted while the court was hearing the bail plea of Pulsa Suni, the first accused in the case. Dilip is trying to prolong the trial. The actor's counsel is filing leave applications for the six accused. who are regularly absent during the trial, said the state's affidavit. Serious allegations were also leveled against Pulsasuni. News Desk, Kaumuthi Global.